This is an oxygen tank. Now obviously this is used for oxygen, but it's a great tank and I want to use it for other gases. So I'm going to teach you guys how to refill these with almost anything you want. Now just a disclaimer, I don't recommend you do any of this. This is the oxygen regulator and it has a little valve right here that lets out the oxygen slowly for medical patients. There's a display right here and you'll see there's two little hooks here that hook into the oxygen tank. Let's put it on. There we go. And now to fill the oxygen tank, we're just gonna take this display off and it reveals an eight inch fitting. Now here's a paintball tank fitting and this is used for high pressure systems like 4,500 PSI. I have some Teflon tape around it and I'm just gonna screw it right in there. Now what happens is we can attach a compressor right here Turn off the valve here, and it should pressurize the oxygen tank. Right here, a 1,500 psi pump, and what this is going to do is it's going to pressurize air from atmosphere, and it's going to hook right onto the oxygen tank like this. They also sell manual pumps for around fifty dollars. This one is around two hundred to three hundred. Since this pump is so powerful, it actually needs to be water cooled. There's a water cooling jacket on the outside of the cylinder, and we're going to need a pump right here to run water through it and cool it. Here, I've got a pump, and it's in, just in a sink. And I'll just put the pump line right here. Now plug in the pump and it should start flowing. All right, now I'm gonna open the valve completely and I'm gonna attach the quick connect. Now we can just leave our oxygen cylinder right here and turn on the machine. We had a failure in the little O-ring right here when we were pressurizing it, and that's because I left the tape on it. We've reached 2,000 PSI, and that's as much as you can pressurize oxygen tanks. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna close the valve at the top of the oxygen tank. Right here there's a pressure release valve, and we're just gonna open that. And that'll release all the pressure in the line, and now it's safe to remove the fitting from the oxygen tank. Now you have a full oxygen tank filled with air. There was a lot of pressure in there. I released all the pressure in that tank and you can see right here, it's icy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.